Yeah, people, more people are joining if you stop muting them all the time. You know that, right? Yeah, stop with this. Stop with the. Stop, stop, stop with the. Yeah, Scott, I'm very in, uninterested in your trolling. Okay, it's, I've had my trolling. Phone, you. I'm just telling you. You, you, you yeah, know, Scott. You're... By the way, at least you approve your microphone. Scott, I've been doing this for 12 years. If I don't, if you think I don't realize the tactics that you and other unbelievers use, I'm, I'm well acquainted with these tactics. I know. Yeah, I know you think you are. But I don't have tactics, man. I'm just trying to talk to you like a human being, one man to another. Scott, yeah, if you and, want to play to the if you want to play to the room, go, go ahead. You're not you're not going to gaslight me. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I listen to, to you room, enough. Man. I know I know your stick. I know, and I'm sure all your followers think you know my stick too. But I promise you, don't have a stick. I'm just trying well, to talk to you like a man. Yeah, man. well, that's all. Okay. Well, that that's a lot. You're lying. Yeah, I know you think I am. I've, but I'm not. I've talked with you. I've locked. I've talked with you enough that you have been uh, deceptive on just about every occasion that I've talked with you. But it's just not true. Oh well, then I guess we disagree, don't we? <laughs> yeah, you you think you know me better than I know me? Is what you're saying? Uh, actually, actually, no. But you you've um, you've been deceptive and evasive. No, I've been honest as I've Good. been as honest as I can with you. At oh, every turn. really? Okay. Well, okay. So just just for kicks, since we don't have any intelligent atheists, let's see how long it takes you to prevaricate, obfuscate, or just outright lie or misdirect. Okay. So, are you an atheist? Yes. Why? Because I don't believe in a god. Did everybody hear that? Yeah, I heard. Okay, that's the kind of answer that I would expect from a fourteen-year-old. Okay. Hey man, fourteen-year-olds are pretty smart men. Uh, okay, so that doesn't tell me why. That's just simply a restatement of your atheism. You think I don't know that atheism means you don't believe in God? The question is, well, why don't you believe in God? All you simply did was. You recapitulated the definition of atheism, not yeah. why you're an atheist. Well, I, if I tell you why I'm an atheist, you'll just tell me it's not why I'm an atheist. Well, I, I'll tell you. I'll just tell you, you straight did, up. You, you, you didn't. I, I, oh, I'm, so, I'm an atheist because I don't see any evidence of a God. Then why didn't you say that in the first place? Okay, I said it now. No, but you didn't say that the first time around, right? Yeah, it's it's hard trying to... Guess what answer you accept or the answer you want Did you, you say that the me. first time around? No, I did not. Okay, so your answer wasn't an explanation of why you're an atheist. It was just simply a restatement of the definition of atheism, right? Sure. Okay. So your so tried. your answer was an but I tried. Your answer was your no, you didn't try. Your answer was an obfuscation. You couldn't possibly be that stupid. Okay, so okay, so when you say there's when you say there's no evidence for God, do you mean that all the facts that you're acquainted with cannot and do not stand in causal relations to God? Yes, I think. And have you determined what all things ultimately derive from that are not God? No. Then how do you know it's not God? How do you know what it is, man? Is it all fake? Gandalf, Gandalf, please don't interrupt. This is funny. That's not, that's not how I approach the world, though. That's an okay. What, that answer right there is gaslighting. You're that's per, you're being evasive now, which is a form. I'm of deception. gaslighting you by telling you that's not how I approach the world. You're, you're gaslighting is an answer intended to misdirect and to deceive rather than transparently answer the question. I'll repeat the question. Since you say that God is not the ultimate precondition of all these facts, okay? So I ask you what is, and you say you don't know. Then how did then how did you rule out God? Rack, mute your microphone, because if I if I hear you open up your mic, uh, you're gonna get server muted, Rack. Yeah, to the best of my understanding of how how my mind works, I don't think that way. I don't try. I don't need to preclude everything to believe what I believe. So that's another example of obfuscation. So I'll ask the question again. Yeah, you. I asked you, how did you determine that 
uh, God is not the ultimate source when you have just admitted you don't know what the ultimate source is. So how did you rule God out? How did I rule God out as the ultimate source? Yeah, you, you said you don't know what the ultimate source is. So how did you determine that it's not God when I, you yeah, don't know what the, the ultimate best, source is? Yeah, the best, you know, I don't usually think about things in this way. So you're asking me questions I've never tried to deal with before. So it's going to take me a few seconds to formulate my response. And the best I can say at the moment until I've had a better chance to think about it is that... Um, the same way I've ruled out Vishnu or any other God that I've ever heard formulated. Are you denying the existence of Vishnu? Yes. On what grounds? I've seen no evidence that we need it. I've seen no evidence that explains yeah, anything. You're, that you're, 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 yeah, you're, yeah. This is your dog chasing its tail. Okay. So how okay. did you determine? How did you? Uh, how did you determine that Vishnu is not the ultimate precondition? I've never asked the question. You see more gaslighting and obfuscation, just as I predicted. So you didn't determine it? You you had no method of determination? How did you Correct. determine how did you determine that things ultimately don't derive from Vishnu? How'd you determine that? I haven't. I never felt the need to determine it one way or the other. So so so, so you're making an arbitrary declaration when you say that things don't ultimately in originate in God or Vishnu. Is that arbitrary? I guess in your framework it is, yeah. Sure. No, no, sir. Is it? No, no. See, that's another sleazy ghastly. You know, please don't over talk me. Okay, you you did it quite a bit the last time, and if you over talk me, I'll server meet you. So what you're doing again is is gaslighting. Okay, what you're trying to do is just saying, well, according to you, are you being arbitrary when you say all things do not ultimately derive in God? Are you being arbitrary? I don't think so. Okay, what is the rational justification that all things do not ultimately derive from God? What's your justification for that? I don't think in terms of do not. I think in terms of is and do. Okay, this is more this is more prevarication, more gaslighting, just as I said you did. So you want to say it's well, not arbitrary, but you don't have a rational justification. Yeah, I want you to give me a rational justification. You well, don't well, know what the you don't know, according to your own words, you don't know what the ultimate precondition of all these things are, but you know it's not God. Is that correct? Great. The most important thing here is he allows you to take care of it. Uh, that's not how I'd phrase it. That is how you phrase it. I'm just repeating what you said earlier. You did say that. I, I just never needed God to explain anything that sir, I've experienced. Sir, sir. Okay, notice again, more gaslighting. You're evading my question to you. Did you assert that God is not the ultimate precondition earlier? Did I assert? I, did you assert that? Well, he said it I don't know. Did I? So no he did. Okay. Oh, you say, oh, I don't know. So you're having amnesia? Then if you're having amnesia, you're unworthy of being spoken to. I, I don't think I would have used those words you used. No, you said those words. Now you're lying. Okay. You stated that when I when you said there's no evidence for God, I said, do you mean by that that all these things cannot and do not stand in causal relations to God? You said yes. Do you remember that? Cannot and do not are two different things, right? Okay, have a nice day. He's doing it again. He can't help himself. He's an absolute craven, pathological, obfuscator, and prevaricator. This is this is this is all he's got is to is to prevaricate, to engage in double talk. He is openly lying and gaslighting about what he said. He said that God is not and cannot be the ultimate precondition. But then when I asked him what the ultimate precondition is, he says he doesn't know. And then when I combine both of his statements into one statement that represented what he said, he then all of a sudden had an amnesia. Now, does anybody in this room sincerely believe he had amnesia about that?